Yeah, I need a gas line, a half inch gas line that I can pretty much bury that goes from my house to a propane tank about 100 feet away. And that's a wrap. Right, Steven Spielberg? I got it. Ah, let's come about placing an order of uh, 457 stone. Okay. Uh, 20 tons. Hope Aaron's enjoying her coffee. We have a massive week ahead of us. I have an excavator coming. Got 20 tons of stone coming. Um, we got to dig in for the septic system and install it the proper way because it's kind of laying on the ground right now. And uh, we have a lot of work to do. What are you eating for breakfast? The yummy? <laughs> yeah. I want to see a blueberry. Okay. After you eat, we need to fix this. What? Mess right here. This no, is a little no, bit crazy. no, 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 no. La mujer bebe. Doing all right, Hade? Yeah. Hadi is working on his Spanish lesson, which is some of his independent work for homeschool. And we just got the call from the gravel company. They're supposed to be up here to deliver our stone, but the guy can't find the place. So we need to head up real quick to a local store and uh, help him find his way here. That's not unusual for a driver not being able to find our house and us going up to the store. It's the only store around. So we meet him up there, locate him, have him follow us back and come up the driveway so we can drop the stone off. Yeah, so the driver has stopped like every 10 or 15 feet and uh, cutting down branches out of his way. His, he, he has a brand new shiny dump truck. And he's going up our dirty like mountain drive that's dumb. Uh, here he comes. He's got branches he's, he's over walking, here. He's walking towards us right now. I don't think he's very happy. He's probably be very, very pissed off. <laughs> yeah, he's walking this way. He's cutting, I mean, small little debris of a uh, little things coming up from plants coming out on the side of the driveway. He's going there ripping them all out. He's not going to be very happy when he gets it up there. <laughs> you want to make, make a bet? He's going he's gonna to come over here. He's going to cut all this stuff out too. It hit my, he's definitely cutting that out. Oh gonna cut, he's gonna cut this out too. He's cutting it all out as he comes. <laughs> if the pine tree that they're growing, that's gonna get cut out. This little one? This little one, he's gonna cut that out, yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, Ellie, break out your construction vehicle toys. You got some work to do. You have to move all this gravel down to the barn. So we got a whole bunch of stone mm -hmm. delivered today. 20 tons actually. And it looks like he had just about as much trouble, he's still working on it, you can yeah. hear him getting out of here as he had getting up here. Do you think it'd be a little bit easier going down with 40,000 pounds lighter? <laughs> so that's not the only stone that we got delivered. We actually also headed back to Winchester and yes. picked up a whole bunch of more stone that is the exact same kind that we put um, around our fireplace where our wood stove is at. We got 350 square feet of stone and uh, a lot of work to do. That is going to be what goes all the way around the house to close in the bottom of the house. The entire thing is going to be stoned, so that's going to be a ton of work. The prep work to get that stone up is going to be a task at hand. Yeah. It's going to be the biggest task of the year. Smash it also. You gotta adjust it so that the button for the for the to, for a higher psi does not work. The lower psi does work, so it defaults at 32 psi. My trailer tire is 80 psi, so I can't go up. And if I put it on right where it is, it will deflate my tire for me. That was the third third gas station that we have gone to trying to find one that has a working air machine. Wish me luck. Ah, uh, max out of 70 PSI. Is 
little ice cream right there. You wanna get some? Yeah. You sure? Yes. <laughs> All right. Of course I'm sure. I have a ridiculous question for you and I bet the answer is no. Do you want to get ice cream? Yes. <laughs> What kind of ice cream do you want? Um, strawberry with sprinkles. With sprinkles? Yeah. Okay, I think I'll join you with the sprinkles. Thank you. <laughs> Noxious to me. Why? You eating that thing? Why? You, you seen that thing? The way it looks? <laughs> extra, extra sprinkles? Look at hers, just as you. What up, girl? <laughs> Cheers. Woo! So the fourth place we went to had air to fill up the tires and also had ice cream for Aaron and me. Oh, just me, right? You're not going to believe what happened yesterday, Carter. What? Do you remember that time that we were picking up like the thousands and thousands of pounds of animal feed? Yeah. And and yeah. how it got loaded wrong? Yeah. And we had to we had to stop uh, and pull over, and Dad and I had to re-stack the beautifully stacked feed, uh, like adjust how it was stacked in the bed of the trailer. Yes. Well, yesterday when we went and picked up the stone, it got loaded wrong, and we had to stop and and restack it. Okay. The first time I slammed <laughs> on the brakes. It was loaded properly because I had them loaded properly. I slammed the brakes because something happened. I had to slam the brakes. The pallet slammed the, the front of the thing and there's too much weight in the front and it was just weighing it all down because it was loaded true. unevenly. Remember that? Yeah, I remember that. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Now, yesterday, the guy told me I had three pallets, so we put the pallets in. I got one pallet, two pallets, so I loaded them properly one towards the front, one towards the middle. Then once he got that one installed, bam! We only have two. He was wrong on a third pallet. So we did load it with a bit of mortar. We broke the stone down a little bit to even the load out because the way it was was kind of on both sides. So we had to disperse it and Aaron just gave me a little bit of crap for it. That's all. I just like to give him a hard time every now and then. So now we need to unload those stones that are kind of out of place so that we can drop all that stone down here and then we can go take care of things. Oh! I'm gonna take this chain here. I'm gonna wrap it around the pallet from the inside because the pallet's pushed too far back. I'm gonna drag it out and I'll pick the top pallet, pull it off, then pick the bottom pallet, and then do the same process again and pulling the front pallet back. There's no way I can uh, wrap the chain around the one pallet. I'm gonna have to wrap the chain around both pallets, pull them towards the back, stop this guy in the middle, stop this guy towards the end, and hope my, my forks will reach this guy to pull him out. I don't want to bring 5,000 pounds from the very tail end of the, of the trailer. You know what I mean? So. Go put the wire back on your side so the chain comes out. Now we got pulled out. Chucky, this is why daddy doesn't let you get on the couch. You're not even black, buddy. You're brown and gray. Oh, look at that. Yeah. 
likes the pile of gravel as much as you guys do. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? You guys ready to go down and do the pigs? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna fill up this water real quick. Grab a bucket lid, and I the goats also need a little bit more minerals. All right. They're getting moved. Then we can go. Katie, run and turn this hose off for me, bud. Okay. Uh, yeah, good girl. How many times have you changed your shirt today? Um, I guess. Four times? The black shirt was hot and the pink shirt was hot and now the white one is not hot. Okay, so the white one is just right. Yes, and the other ones are not white. It's a good thing that you like doing laundry because you sure make a lot of it. So how are we getting picked? Do you want me to lay them down or are we all going to catch them? We're gonna catch them, bring them down, bring them down one at a time. That's the plan. Yeah, I think we can just carry them. Yeah. And then get put on the countertop. Are you gonna pick some flowers for the countertop? Yeah. Okay, honey. Ooh, nice pick. Hi guys, it's moving day. So the last time you guys saw the pigs, we had just brought them home and we put them in this little nursery pen behind us inside the barn. Today, they're gonna be taken out of here and put underneath our barn in a training pen where they'll get accustomed to the electric fencing. So we're gonna have solid hog panels on the inside to keep them in, inside the fencing. Mm -hmm. But on the inside of that, we're actually gonna have hot wire going around there. And it's gonna pretty much train them. They get hit by that, they're gonna get shocked or train them to so those small little hot wires. We're gonna, I guess, hook up the uh, solar charger first. And then once they get out to the woods, they're gonna be on the 13 joule charger that's AC powered. Yeah, and that's the one it's that also, really bites. It's, it's DC powered, but it's powered by, a, by AC, but it hurts. It hurts a lot. <laughs> Put them in a buggy, honey. Sure. Got that, Ellie? All right, all the way in the back. Good job. Let's go. Good clock, all right, come on. Mom? Okay, I know what you're doing here. Don't snap in there. You gotta loosen it up in the ground a little bit, Carter, okay? Yeah. Look at them shoulders, girl. Oh. You thought that I wasn't gonna be able to get it, and then you were gonna come over here and rip it out. I knew you'd be able to get it. <laughs> Hop in, Carter. Like right. a sword of stone, you know what I mean? <laughs> That way! <laughs> that way! I mean, that way! Who in their right mind gave you a learner's permit? Keep huh? going! That way! <laughs> Back corner here, dude. This is actually white oak. It's as hard as a freaking rock. These things are bending going in there. If it was pine, we'd go without a problem, but it's not. The thing about pigs is, if we left it like this right here, they would end up digging out underneath it to escape because they need really strong fences. You need something down. If, if it's not going to be electric, it would probably need to be buried under there, or you would need to have it really, really tight so they couldn't make it out underneath it. So. By us having electric in here, we're not gonna have the problem of them being able to dig out because the second that they touch it with their little wet nose, they're gonna get shocked and they're gonna stay away from it and they're not even going to attempt to dig out. That corner right there? Okay. You do that corner, do all the corners real quick. Uh, so that's two wires run. I ran one. The first one I ran is the negative wires in the lower portion. Um, that's also going to go to ground. And I got my hot wires and go uh, eh, about that much above. The reason is we want them to be able to they touch both at the same time. They're going to get hit really hard. It's going to hurt. So that's how we're going to train them to the electric fence. Is it heavy? 
Yes, really heavy. <laughs> You're already dirty, so it's the perfect time to carry some pigs. Do you want to catch them and help carry some? Yes. Okay. I'm going to catch the Bigfoot one. Oh, you can carry Bigfoot? Yes. Who's Carter going to carry? Um, Peppa Dolls. And who's Haiti going to carry? Um, Goat Feed. Goat, goat Feed? feed. Yeah. What kind of name is that? His name's Pork Chop. <laughs> so this right here is the solar charger that we're going to be using. Um, it's, it's actually one that we've had for quite a long time. You can tell yeah. how old it is, but it still works. It does. And uh, for a funny story, year, a couple years ago, when we first moved here, we had an issue with the charger not working. I was at work and she says she wouldn't get any power from the hot wire, so she wouldn't get shocked. So I, I think the goats or the sheep were probably getting out. Um, she kept touching, says not hot. I said, well, go ahead and... <laughs> Test it out with this. Go with a little tester. I said, go ahead and go to the screws on the side where you have your uh, positive and your negative lead. I said, go ahead and touch both of them at the same time with your fingers. <laughs> and, uh, so, <laughs> and it bitter and it hurt. It did. When you touch it right there, it hurts really bad. <laughs> yeah. I think I had it on speakerphone too, and all the guys were around. I was like, what's this? And she, she, she yelled pretty hard too. <laughs> he set me up. <laughs> Got him. It works. First I'm getting shocked, so that's how they're gonna learn. Whoop! <laughs> I think they've already learned to not touch it. I agree. <laughs> oh. Oh. Get him, Josh! Show him who's boss! <laughs> Nope, he's about to learn real quick. Woo! Oh, got him. <laughs> Everything's set up so the pigs are good to go. You are the sunrise waking my day. You are the moonlight shining my way. This is where I call home. You are the fire warming my night. With you I'll stay too. You get cleaned up at the rest of them hogs? I did. I'm clean. The kids are clean. Chuck's not clean. No. Nope. But you two are BFF, so I figured you could wash his back for him. <laughs> Fat chance on that. <laughs> so it's going to get down to Thursday night. Yes. It's going to get pretty cold. So we say we uh, make a fire tonight. First, I would first love, fire of the season. I would love to do that. Be a good time. Yeah. It's always fun. Yes. Ellie's going to want marshmallows. <laughs> I got the marshmallows and daddy's on start the fire. Are you excited? Yes. Yeah. You're going to eat marshmallows? Yes. Yeah. And then they like, eat one and do the top. Oh my goodness, you're gonna gobble it all up? Yeah! <laughs> then it goes down on wood like this. He got a big stack of wood, doesn't he? <laughs> hey Daddy, are we just starting a fire? Yeah, yeah, sweetie. Because we're stopping this bigger one. We got do it this, but like that. And I'll get another one for you, okay, Daddy? Yep, get out right there, baby. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Are you ready to eat your marshmallows? Yes. Look, there's one, two, three. Yes, you got a big stack. <laughs> you gonna toast it first? You eat it, Carly. There's one more marshmallow. How are you gonna eat that? You can't have a fire without Ellie wanting marshmallows. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Machine's here. Time for a big week. You ready, babe? I'm ready. 
See you guys next time. See ya.